la la. I'm assuming I'm live here. Uh, I don't know if I am or not. Let me go on and see if I'm live. I don't know. I don't know if I'm live. Am I live? In my bathrobe with no makeup. Am I live? Can people see me? Let me see. Can people see me? Let's see. Okay. Assuming that you guys can see me, hi. Um, you guys know I, I don't do drama. I don't like drama. I don't like... Um, um, I don't like trouble. <sighs> when I can see, when I see a friend having a problem, I, I really, guys, I, I try not to get involved. I really do. So here's what happened months ago, months ago, um, Trevor was going on some sort of a live stream with somebody named Paula. I, I don't, I think her name was Paula. I don't know. I don't know who these people are. I don't do that. And absolutely average Russ decided to write her some sort of an email. I don't know what the email said, but let me tell you what I know. I know that this woman, Paula, I think that's her name. I apologize if I'm wrong. Paula blocked him after that. He then sent her a message on Twitter. Problem is, <clears throat> he forgot to change his handle when he sent her the message. This is the message, by the way. He sent her a message. She wrote saying, did you see my email? She wrote back. And by the way, this is the, she's the, this person is the only one who emailed her. The only email she received was from this person. And then she blocked him from emailing her anymore. Then he sent her a message on Twitter and she wrote back and said, ah, yes, I saw your email. I hate those types of sneaky emails trying to get me to deplatform a guest. To be honest, it really, it reeked of jealousy because he's getting attention. After all, you admit you loved him as a mate before you fell out. Go well and develop your own voice. So that message was sent on Twitter from one of the biggest troll accounts on Twitter that this account does nothing but slam on Trevor. So the person who sent the email sent the message from the troll account on Twitter. I then sent an email to Russ. And this is what I wrote. I'm reading it verbatim says, good morning, Russ. If you know anything about me, then you know that I have the reputation, I think I do, of being fair and not getting into anybody's drama. What I don't like, however, is YouTubers attacking other YouTubers. I try to lift everybody up. So when the whole thing happened with the email that you sent to a podcaster basically telling her not to have Trevor on her show. I wanted to know if it was true, which is why I contacted you on your live that day. And for those of you who don't know, he had a live and he admitted in the live that yes, he had reached out to that person. According to that podcaster who gave a sworn statement to the police, I might add, you were the only person who emailed her, just you. Then she blocked your email and you reached out to her on Twitter and she responded to you on Twitter. It had to have been you. The problem is you forgot to switch your Twitter handle before you sent the message and I've attached the tweet for you to look at in case you've forgotten. You are about to be in super big trouble. So I'm asking you now to stop. Smaller channels are coming forward saying you told them. Trevor said this, Trevor said that. Please just stop because I fear what might happen to you. As with all YouTubers, I wish nothing but the best for you. It can be frustrating. 
I myself have been doing this for three years and I barely have 63,000 subscribers. Where other people that have been going only a year have already passed 100,000. It's not easy, but it can be done. So start taking the high road. And if you do good things, good things will come back to you. I sent him a positive, helpful, what I thought was an uplifting email, letting him know that I knew what he was doing. I had proof of what he had done and I was begging him to stop and take the high road because the high road is always the best way. Yes, maybe I'm not as popular as the other channels. I don't curse. I don't slam other people. I always try to uplift the smaller channels. You guys all know that, that have been following me for a long time and my rescue dogs and my love of the UK. And the fact that I give credit where credit is due. Somebody wrote to me the other day and said, you know, you, you would be complaining that you would have been complaining if Meghan Markle didn't put out a statement. And I said, you're absolutely right. Which is why in my video, I gave her credit for putting out a statement. Because if she had to put out a statement, you guys would have been complaining that she didn't put out a statement. You have to give credit where credit's due. I always try to be fair and balanced. But um, I was just on Russ's live and what I saw was him going, and this YouTuber only knows what you said. And this is this and this is that. And she sent me an email. I did send you an email, but you didn't mention that it was an email to try to help you and uplift you. And you didn't even bother to give me the courtesy of a response. So Trevor's going to do his thing. Russ is going to do his thing. I'm going to continue to do my thing. I'm going to continue to up, uplift smaller channels. I'm going to continue to put out good karma because it always comes back to you in spades. That's all I have to say. Um, and I hope everybody has a fabulous, fabulous day. And I apologize for still being in a bathrobe with no makeup on.